Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to a brand new video. So hope you guys are having an amazing day. So guys, back again with a tech video for you guys. So today I got a really special video for you guys. And in this video, I'll be showing you how to increase the lifespan of your smartphone's battery. So I will be talking about Samsung smartphone to be specific because I have owned so many Samsung smartphones over the year. I mean, ranging from the Galaxy S3 all the way up to the S21 FE and so many different models in between. But one complaint I always had with the Samsung smartphones is the battery. I mean, it's not really good. And after seven to eight months, your uh, Samsung smartphone's battery is going to give up. As compared to Apple, I think Apple uh, battery management is way better as compared to the Samsung. And um, basically in my last Galaxy S10, the battery start uh, started to give up after a year which was kind of absurd to be honest but uh, with the new galaxy s21 fe i bought i decided to use all the techniques all the different kind of techniques out there to protect the battery and to increase the lifespan so the first thing i want to talk about is limiting your charge up to 85 percent i think this is a great feature on all samsung smartphones so basically instead of charging up to 100 percent you can just toggle a switch and your smartphone will only let the battery charge to 85% I mean uh, the period between the 80 to 100% puts a lot of stress on the lithium batteries and since we have chargers almost everywhere in our homes in our cars and in our offices so I think instead of charging up to 100% you can just charge up to 85% and that is definitely going to increase the lifespan of your smartphone's battery so if you want to charge 100% you are going on a road trip or once a month you should really charge up to 100% just to make sure your smartphone's battery is in a good health but other than that I don't really like to fully charge my smartphone i think once a month or twice a month i would like to do it especially when i'm going on a road trip or somewhere i won't be having the charger but other than that i have always limited it to 85 percent another thing to note right here is if you have the time don't let your smartphone battery go below i think 25 percent because uh, just uh, the way 80 to 100 percent puts a lot of stress on the lithium batteries the same way when the battery percentage goes below 25 percent or below 15 percent to be specific that all uh, that puts a lot of stress on the lithium batteries so if you have the time if you have the charger nearby just plug your smartphone in and um, get it above 25 percent of battery life the second thing i want to talk about is something really important i don't see many people talking about it, is this fast charging even though we all love fast charging it quickly uh, charges our smartphone in 40 to 50 minutes but uh, this fast charging is really bad for the lithium batteries because uh, during fast charging it puts uh, it puts a lot of stress and heat on the lithium batteries kills the lifespan of your smartphone's battery so what i really like to do is most of us uh, uh, like to charge our smartphone at night time and since we are going to be getting almost six to seven hours of sleep or maybe at least five hours of sleep so instead of putting fast charging at night i really like to turn off the fast charging and use a slow adapter to charge my smartphone it really takes a lot longer uh, as compared to one to two hours of charging time it takes around five to six hours now if you are in a quick uh, if you are in a hurry you can always fast charge your smartphone but at night time i think you should definitely use slow charging another point to note right here is whenever i would uh, slow charge my smartphone i got way better battery life during the daytime i don't know how this phenomena works or anything like that but whenever i would uh, slow charge my smartphone using a slow adapter the next day i would get much better uh, battery life out of my smartphone so anyways if you like to read any of the articles i will uh, link them below so there are tons of uh, articles on uh, why limiting to 85 percent is pretty good and why fast charging is bad for your smartphone and i will uh, link all of them below of course for my results it's going to take some time it's going to take another four or five months because before i can post a result and i will make a video about that pretty soon that after using these techniques uh, did the battery survive better or not so i replaced my galaxy s10 e battery some time ago even though i replaced with the best one out there still the battery was pretty bad so whatever comes with your smartphone the original battery it's always pretty good so protecting it is definitely going to be really good for not only your smartphone but in terms of battery life 
and um, for all for all of the people who really like to replace the smartphone after two three years i think uh, having a good battery after a year is pretty essential so anyways that's pretty much it for this video so if you like the video make sure you give it a like and if you're new consider subscribing and become a part of this channel and thanks for watching and goodbye